the last train for Christmas. It was Christmas Eve on the island of Sodor, and all the engines were clearing a lot of thick snow, and, and Stanley and Ryan were clearing up the snow so that, so that there won't be any slippier tracks at all. A few moments later, the two had just cleared up the snow when Rosie arrived. Hello, she said. You two look busy. Oh no, not more snow, moaned Ryan. I've just cleared up the whole branch line. What else is, is going to happen? Will that come again tomorrow? Tomorrow will be the day we won't have to go out in the snow, said Rosie. We'll be took. We'll be tucked up in our nice warm sheds. Why? asked Ryan. Aren't you forgetting, silly? said Rosie. Tomorrow is Christmas. Hooray! said Ryan. I love keeping warm. Me too, said Stanley. With that, the two tank engines felt so happy with this that they carried on clearing the thick snow. While at the big station, Connor was taking on passengers. For Christmas, he, w he waited patiently until the passengers got into his coaches. But his coaches were too full of passengers, so there was not enough room for the others. An ill child now had to wait until his next train. Don't worry, little boy, said Connor kindly. I'll, I'll, I'll get the next train and it will be just for you. Soon the guard blew his whistle, and Connor steamed out of the station as fast as he could. Through big snowy storms, Connor still cleared, cleared away the snow whilst taking the passengers to the other station. He was so fast that he went through another big sno snow drift. The passengers the passengers were impressed with Connor's speed, but they thanked him for their trip. At last, Connor had reached Lord Michael's station and, and took all the passengers there where the fat controller was waiting. Well done, Connor, he said. Now, the next, the next load of passengers from the big st city will, will need to be travelling home from here from here for Christmas, he said. Think you're up for it? Yes, sir, said Connor. But I'm gonna need an but I'm gonna need the next two coaches, she said. My coaches aren't in, don't have enough passengers, you see, he said, and there's not even enough room for them. I'm sure you'll find some some coaches where there's enough room, he said. But then they heard a whistle. From behind, where Gordon's express coach is being shunted by Thomas. Gordon's having his week off since it's Christmas Eve, said Thomas. So you can have, so so you can have his coaches as well as your own, Thomas said kind, kindly to Connor. Thank you, Thomas, said Connor happily. This will be a great help. Soon Gordon's express coaches were coupled to Connor's coaches. Soon. But soon, Connor was ready to go back to the big station, and he steamed away. Soon, Connor was still trying to make up for lost time, so that he could go even more faster before the snow would rage on. But then there was trouble. The snow was getting heavier and heavier. Connor was trying his hardest to make it back to the big station by the city, by the big city, but, but little did he not know that the handle was trapped under the Boulder Mountain Tunnel with a, with a heavy thick of snow. Poor the handle couldn't move. The snow was getting closer and closer and even more heavier too. But Connor was so determined to make it back, back to the big station as fast as his Greenland wheels could carry him. Back at the other station, all the other engines were all worried about the, 
about the heavy snow and worried about Connor. The fat controller was worried too. I'm afraid that the last train for Christmas has to be cancelled, he said. The snow is getting heavier and I don't think Connor will make it. But, but sir, said Thomas, the last train doesn't even need to be cancelled, he said. I'm sorry, said Billy. The fat controller was it is right. The the last train has to be cancelled. Billy is right, said the fat controller. Now now Connor will have to will have to travel home in the morning, he said, while the snow has calmed down. But the other engines were upset. Then Thomas had an idea. Sir, he said, why don't we all clear the snow? He said, if we help, if we help make a good team together at the heavy snow, then Connor would finally take his last train to the, to the station. The fat controller agreed. Yes, he said, Thomas is right. We should all work together. The Others whistled and whistled, except Billy, who was not happy with Thomas's new idea. With that, all the engines were doing the best they could to clear away the thick, heavy snow, and rescuing others that were, that were already in danger and destined to get back to their nice, warm shed. But the heavy snow was not going on well for poor Stafford. Must not give up, moaned Stafford, but the snow was too heavy. He had run out of back he had run out of charge and his battery was dead. Oh no, moaned Stafford. Billy's right. The the last train for Christmas has to be cancelled. Then he heard a loud chuffing noise getting closer and closer. There from from the track was Murdoch. He went supersonic speed that he that he whooshed all of the heavy snow up out of the way, and that and at last, ra racing from behind was Connor and his coaches and Gordon's Express. Thank you. He shouted after Murdoch had left, and he was on his way to the big, to the, to the station of the big city. But the snow was getting heavier and heavier, and Connor was determined not to let the snow defeat him. At last, Connor had reached the state, reached Lord Michael's station, and all of the passengers. We're finally home for Christmas, and they all thanked and they all thanked and wished Connor a Merry Christmas. Back at the other station, Connor arrived and Connor arrived to see a long line of engines. When he got to the other station, the fat controller greeted him there. Well done, Connor, he said. You are a really useful engine. Without your help, those passengers could never have done this without you. Thank you, sir, said Connor. I could never have done this without, the, without, all, the engine, without, without all your engines, he said. They've really helped me, and helped me with a lot of trouble. That's it. That's right, said the flat controller happily. Without, without my engines, the passengers would never would never enjoy the eagerness we've, en we've enjoyed tonight, he said. It will, be a n it will be a long, snowy Christmas night for us to remember, he said. Connor smiled. All the engines whistled, whistled and shouted thank you to Connor and wished him a Merry Christmas. Connor was, ve was very happy to be helping his friends but he was also happy to be helping one of his passengers when trouble needs to be solved, solved and done.